way, the formula route which we have studied. Okay, so this this knowledge will be important for again building your knowledge in topics like coordinate geometry and integration and application of derivatives and things like that later on. So hence it becomes important. Now in the board exams, this is an important topic. Why? Because there are 10 marks for this. And this is very easy topic. All of you anyways have been doing this area volume since I what I think grade seven, eight. So in different formats, the you know, uh, you have been applying these this these formulae. So hence it should not be a big uh, issue for you to score here. But yes, the problem is people do mistakes or uh, do uh, people make mistakes while calculating. So that has to be taken care of. And yes, if you, you know, uh, get the question wrong, because, you know, if you understand it in a different way and you solve it, if the diagrams and other things are not given, then you lose marks. So hence we have to be careful. And one five marker mostly will be from this topic. Okay. So hence, you know, stakes are high. So let's say many people start from the end of the paper, right? Toward the end of the paper, uh, question number 36 and all. So there, uh, uh, if you're spending initial few minutes on the problems, then you are, you are very calm. So hence, um, ideally you should not be making mistakes, but many a times this question, uh, many of you would be attempting in the last minutes of the exam or when you are finishing the paper. So at times again, becomes difficult to keep control over the calculations. So hence, uh, these are some points to be taken care of. Okay. So the topic is very easy and simple. And again, as I told you, I will show you, uh, you know, the, the structure of the paper. So you can see again, mensuration is 10 marks. Now this mensuration also includes, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the circle areas and all, right? So planar figure. So you have seen the areas related to circle is also included in that. So in this sample paper, which is given, there are five plus one, six, total six marks question. Okay. So in the sample paper, there is six marks question, uh, which is given six marks. So one plus five. Okay. So you can imagine five plus one, six from this topic and four from the other two, that is the areas related to circle and plane figures and things like that. So that's the breakup and total is 10 marks. So these 10 marks are very easy to score. Okay. Now, again, uh, this has been taken away. Now, in the last few years, the five marker, no, I'm talking, uh, I'm talking about mensuration areas related to uh, areas and volumes, basically. So where you are calculating areas of plane figures and volumes and things like that. So uh, that will fall in geometry. Uh, so circles we have already taken up. We will see triangles later on. So we'll spend some good amount of time on triangles. Why? Because that's a, another very important topic, not only with respect to boards, but for all your future purposes. Anyway, so what I'm saying is this has been removed and in the last few years, there has been a four or five marker uh, question from this topic. Frustum of a cone, right? So fortunately, unfortunately, that has been removed. So um, now you don't need to pay attention to those questions. So there will not be any question like there is a cone and uh, there is a plane which cuts the, let's say there is a plane through which you are cutting the cone like that. You have cut the cone. So you get a frustum, so bucket kind of a structure. So that is taken away. So that's not there. Okay. Now, again, this is the customary slide. So, you know, the breakup by now it must have been you must have by hearted it, isn't it? So what is, how many, how many one marker? So there are 16 one marker, 16 into one, then uh, 16 into one again, in terms of four case studies, and then uh, six into two, and then seven into three, and then five into three, or sorry, three into five. So this is the structure, total structure. And this, this is one five marker will be mostly, uh, will be a mensuration or areas related or surface areas and volumes related top question. Now in one slide, you can complete this entire revision. There is nothing much here. You only need to be alert and uh, vigilant while solving the problem. That's it. So you can see 
cuboid cube cylinder sphere hemisphere and cone one important point here is the cone and the cylinder which is talked about is a right circular cone what is it right circular so you understand what is a right circular cone right circular cone slash cylinder okay so right right co right circular cone slash cylinder meaning if you uh, the axis of the cylinder as well as the cone will be perpendicular to the base and it will be passing through the center of the uh, base so that's what is meant by right circular cone and cylinder what do i mean so let me just uh, explain so all of you are clear what is right circular cone and cylinder do i need to explain that so we in this in all these formula are related to right circular cone and cylinder guys yes no do you understand what is right circular cone right so do not get confused so in any ways in this grade they will not test you on that but you must be aware that what we are talking about is right circular cone what is that actually so let me say yeah so so basically this is a right circular cone where uh you have this structure and the base is this and the angle this angle so non right circular cone i'll tell you that also so have you have you seen a spotlight in a theater okay so this is a right circular cone right so non right circular cone is something like that i have seen that spotlight kind of a thing so in the in the theater so let's say there is a beam of there's a torch here or something and here is where so hence if you see the axis is inclined right this angle is not 90 degree theta is not equal to 90 degree this is also a cone so you can make a right circular cone into a non right circular by doing what just cut it across like this cut it and then you will get a non right circular cone is it did you understand the construction so this is okay similarly uh, there is a right circular cylinder so you have this okay and uh, so basically if you rotate a rectangle around any of its sides you will get you will generate a volume called a right circular cylinder so if you see this is the axis of the cylinder this is the axis and axis passes through the through both the centers and it is 90 degree to the to both the both the faces both the faces right so this is okay so this must be clear fair enough now uh, so cuboid all of you know so what is curved and lateral surface area you know so curved surface area is uh, if you just take away the base and the top surface if if at all there is any then that will be called as what will that be called as that will be called as uh, curved surface area or lateral surface area so you have to just ignore the base and the so for example coming back to this so curved surface area would be uh this 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 area so if you let's say unwind it or cut it open then the area which is right this is curved surface area so the base is not included the base is not counted base is not counted in curved surface area right but if it is asking total surface area then everything you have to count the curved surface area as well as the the base area okay fair enough so you understand what is uh, lateral surface area or curved so if it is a, a continuous smooth uh, curve then it is called curved surface otherwise lateral surface area for a cuboid for example what will be lateral surface area so if you see if i draw this cuboid or cube let's say let's say this is the sorry uh, somewhat like that okay so this is the cuboid so lateral surface area will be this surface area 1 this surface area 2 then on the back side third and on the this side fourth these are lateral surface areas of the cube or cuboid the top surface and the bottom surface is not counted so base is not counted so you have to be careful in case of cuboid why because the orientation influences the curve or the lateral surface area why because if let's say this is h this is b and this is l and you you know turn it 90 degrees 
when I, what do I mean? So if I flip it 90 degrees in, in, in this case, like that. So let's say now L is here. L is here. The longest length is here. And then let's say something like that is happening. Okay. Then you have to be careful about which side you are going to take for calculation of. So hence in this case, the things have changed. So this is L now. This is let's say B only. And this is uh, H. This one is H. So hence again, this surface area, that surface area, that surface area, and again, this front surface area, all these are lateral part of lateral surface area. So you have to be very, very careful in terms of if at all there is a cube or a cuboid, orientation does matter. So take care of that. Okay. Now the formula is pretty simple. You have derived it. There is no derivation asked in the exams. So you know how a cuboid is twice LH plus BH and twice LB plus BH plus LH is total surface area. You can calculate and do. Uh, if you forget the formula, you can calculate there itself. LVH is the volume. So you have been studying about this for a long, long time. So all the formula is known to everyone, right? So do you need to, uh, do I need to repeat anything here? So I hope everyone is clear with whatever is there on the slide. And this slide is good enough for the entire chapter. Right? The only thing is people do get confused here. So in cone, you have to be a little careful that this L, L is slant height. So what is slant height? So you know that there are two heights in the cone. One is the vertical height. So this is the vertical height, H. And this one is L and this is radius. So L is clearly under root H square plus slant height. We call it Orientation part again. Yes, I'm saying, let's say in their question, if someone is asking you to find out the lateral surface area, so for a cuboid, it, it depends on which face it is kept, isn't it? So what is the base? So hence you have to first identify that base. So if you change the orientation, the lateral surface area changes. Are you getting my point? So let's say if you are holding a book in your hand and let's say the flat surface is on the table, then its lateral surface area is very, very small, but you just hold it vertically so that one of the edges is on the table, then the lateral surface area changes, right? So depending upon on which side you have kept the, um, the, the cuboid, which face you have kept the cuboid, lateral surface area will keep on changing. But lateral surface area doesn't vary for sphere, hemisphere or a cone. Right, so it is understood that because lateral surface area there is nothing but the curved surface area we call it. So curved surface area, there is only one curved surface, so hence there is no need of clarification or any orientation, right? So is that okay for all this is fair enough? So cube 4a square, 6a square, a cube. So I don't need to repeat all of this. This will be too boring. Anyone want me? Anyone wants me to repeat this? Okay, so here 6a square. 6a square, a cube, 4a square, a, 6a square, a cube. Uh, no, then they would have given you something, you know, if, you know, some orientation would be there. Otherwise, you can just take length and breadth based on length and breadth, the, the largest surface area. And if you are, let's say you are confused, then do mention your assumption. As I told you, whenever you are in doubt, let's say you find the question a little ambiguous, and you think that question should have been in a different word, you know, it has, to, it had to be worded differently. Then do mention your, uh, you know, assumption that this is what we are assuming. Okay. So anyway, so two pi R H and two pi R H plus two pi R square is a total surface area. Why two pi R square? Because there are two surfaces top and bottom. So that will be it volume pi R square H. This is base area into height. So you can relate to it base surface area into height. Then uh, sphere is four pi r square is the total surface area. Uh, so lateral surface area or total surface area stays the same for sphere and volume is four by three pi r cube. Uh, hemisphere, lateral surface area or curved surface area is two pi r square. Total surface area, surface area, add one more pi r square to the curved surface area. You will get three pi r square. The volume is half of the sphere. So two by three pi r cube, this one. And R is the radius, so you know this. And cone, curved surface area, pi RL. Pi RL plus pi R square is the total surface area. 
and half 1 by 3 pi r square h. So this is, if you see, is one third of the volume of the cylinder, right? And r is equal to base radius, h is equal to vertical height, l is equal to slant height, l is under root r square plus h square. So with this slide, you don't need any further gyan on this. You have been doing so far, you know, multiple number of times. So let's start solving. But before you solve, these points must be taken care of. And this is where people go wrong. So please be careful. So let's say in problems involving melting and all, uh, where something is being melted and reshaped and, you know, uh, you are creating something. So volume remains constant. This is the key, right? So the volume of the structure before doing any work on it and volume of structure after doing any work on it. For example, there will be case questions like eight metallic spheres were melted to form, let's say two cylinders of some dimension. Then what is going to be constant in this process? The volume is not going to change. So that will be the key of the question. So you have to equate the volumes to get the relation between the dimensions, okay? Now, many a times the value of pi is given. So it's better to look at the question and see whether some value of pi is given, some approximation is given at times. So use that value only, which is given in the question. If nothing is given, you are free to choose 22 upon seven or 3.14, whichever you feel uh, comfortable to calculate, to do the calculation. But in my opinion, 22 by seven uh, is a better way of uh, doing arithmetic. Okay, so you can use 22 by 7. And many a times you have to be careful whether the value of radius or the diameter is given. So people get trapped there. So hence they in the in the temptation, because as you know, most of you would be doing these problems towards the end of the paper. So it might so happen because of the rush of you know, rush of solving more and more. And uh, yeah, I will I will tell you that also conversion, so no worries. So what I'm saying is, um, uh, then during the rush, it might so happen that you overlooked radius and you taken or you overlooked that it is given as diameter. You took it as a took it as a radius and solved the paper, solved the problem, and hence got the answer wrong. So in my opinion, what you should do is you solve in terms of variables till the last point. So hence you can see as far as possible. Do all the calculations at the final stages of solution. So hence keep going, taking R, 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 R like that till the end. And only when you have reduced everything and now it's final, you know, final step where you have to calculate, then you deploy values. So even if let's say at the end you are, you know, uh, doing the calculation, which is, let's say by mistake, you uh, took the diameter value as the radius, then at least the process will save you, right? So hence we say that, uh, keep the calculations for the end. Okay. And try to do uh, without much of, you know, so we try to solve using variables. So you can show in the diagram, draw the illustrative diagram there itself. So what is R, what is H, what is D, X, Y, Z, whatever it is asked for, it is asking for, then solve methodically. And at the last stage, yes, many a times you will feel that, okay, no, it will be too much to carry on all these variables till the last, then please be careful. Many a times it happens that you have to first calculate the volume of the cone, then go to something else and all that. So it becomes difficult to carry on with the variables. Then while deploying the values, be double alert that what kind of information has been given. Then do not miss writing units. Many a times I have seen people just forgetting to write units. So whether it is centimeter, meter, kilometer, whatever is mentioned, do mention the units because there is weightage on that as well. Okay, so, and someone is asking about conversion. So uh, what all conversion do you need? Centimeter. So one meter is 100 centimeter without doubt. You have been doing it is equal to 1000 centimeter. Okay, decimeter. So one meter, so milli, centi, decimeter. So 10 decimeter. Like that. Okay, so one meter is 10 deci. Huh, so these values are not, uh, not will be there. So they will not give you decimeters and all that. Now this is unconventional. Anyways, no one uses decimeter and decameter and all that. So hectare. So one hectare is how much? 10,000 meters square. Right. So this will be there. And in, in most of the cases, you will see that they will give you this information. Okay, so they will give you the um, information. Yeah, may, uh, these days I, I'm not seeing any questions like one feet is how much. So one feet is 12 inches and one inch is 2.54 centimeter. 
like that. So you can, you know, you can always relate to your ruler, which is there in your uh, instrument box. If you see in the geometry box, you'll see a ruler. So there are 15 centimeter ruler and six inches on the side, is it? So six inches roughly equal to 15 centimeter. So, right. So you might have seen that in your, so mostly if at all there is some conversion, it would be there, I believe. I have not seen them going up away from SI units for a long time. You'll see all the previous year questions. So, but yes, it's always good to remember those values. Anything else? Okay. So, sir, do we consider a tent to have a base? See, when a tent question is given, they will ask you about the canvas area. So obviously base will not be there. You cannot create a, you know, so the, when, when you create a tent, you do not, you know, consider that base in that tent. Okay. So the question are application based where they're asking you to find out the cost of painting that or cost of fabricating that and all that. So the base area is not there in the tent. Okay, so let's proceed with the previous year questions now one by one. Here is the first question. So this is the sample paper question. So again, you can see there's a melting involved in it. So you know what to do here. What do you need to do? So you just start equate the volumes, isn't it? So what is the question? 12 solid cylinders of same radii are made by melting a solid metallic cylinder of base dia two centimeters. See again, so you have to be careful. They are talking about base diameter, uh -huh. diameter, base dia two centimeter unit alert or and height 16, find the diameter of each sphere. So what do you need to do? Equate the volume. So it is a one marker. So you'll not write much. So you'll say 12 solid spheres. So 12 solid, solid meaning full, right? So 12, four by three, let's calculate the volume of the entire 12, 12 solid sphere. So four by three pi R cube. This is the volume of 12 solid spheres is made by melting a solid metallic cylinder. Oh, where did it go here? Solid metallic cylinder. What is solid metallic cylinder of base diameter two centimeters. So R here is one and height is 16. So hence it will be pi R square, one square into H 16. This is the volume of the cylinder. Once again, pi one square into 16 is the volume of the cylinder. Now what do you need to find out? Find the diameter of the, so hence you have to find out two R. So be careful. Right. So hence, whatever R is there, you have to find out two R. So pi pi will go. So not the, uh, pi and pi will go. So four, four, ja 16, three, four, ja 12, four, four. Right. So R is simply one. If R is one, D is two R is equal to two and then write centimeter, two centimeter, one mark. Okay. Next, so one mark done. What's our target, guys? What are we fighting for? What's the target? What's the target? Did you do you remember the target? All of you forgot it. All of you have to get sent them. Correct. So hence the quest is for sent them. Okay, next question here, guys. Shall you do this? This is now take your time again. This is five marker, guys. So hence. Please take your time, read the question thoroughly, and then that's all. So water is flowing through a cylindrical pipe of internal diameter. Now, the moment you see internal diameter and all that, your antenna should give you signals. Internal diameter of two centimeter, diameter. So again, trap, diameter. Into a cylindrical tank of base radius, base radius now 40 centimeter at the rate of 0.7 meter per second right so this is the velocity which is given by how much will the water rise in the tank in half an hour so draw illustrative diagram so a diagram would be something like this 
so this is my pipe and this water is coming to this cylindrical structure okay something like that hmm and this is flowing at the rate of v is equal to 0.7 meter per second that is equal to 70 centimeter per second so that will be important to convert it Three ninety six is what miles. Three mile. Three ninety six is light years. What is the unit? By how much will water rise in the tank? The answer should be in centimeters, no? In half an hour. okay so first you will calculate the volume coming out of this pipe the output of the output of the inlet pipe inlet pipe will be nothing but what volume per second yes or no volume per second so what will that be so that is nothing but uh, nothing but uh, so let let us say that is what what would be no and uh, keep the name as so usually we give okay chalo um some other name not v so i'm just you know trying to find out or, or you can just output of the inlet pipe is nothing but uh, you can say the base area so what is the base area internal dia is 2 that means pi into 1 square base area into 70 cm cube per second this much amount of uh water will come down in one second so water water uh flown in how many half an hour 30 minutes will be equal to pi into 70 into 30 minutes matlab 30 into 60 Centimeter cube. This much water will flow down, right? Now this is collected in the the bigger tank, this one. So hence the volume volume gained by the tank will be volume of water which is coming in. So what is the volume gained by tank? Volume gained by tank is nothing but pi into base radius forty. Square into let's say height h. This height h only you are trying to calculate. So you have to equate these two. Simple. So hence pi into forty square into h will be equal to pi into seventy into thirty into sixty. Now if you notice, I did not calculate ever. I am not calculating. I am not wasting my time to calculate this value. No need. No need. Why? Because it is going to be simplified. So if you cal, if you multiply and then you divide, useless, right? So what are what are what else? Pi pi will go. So this forty square will come down as forty into forty. Is it? So zero 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 zero, right? Now two uh, three. That's it, right? So this is how much? Seventy into nine by eight. So six thirty by eight centimeter, which is eight seven the fifty six seventy. So eight eight the sixty four sixty. So seven the fifty six seventy eight point seven five centimeter is the answer. Okay, so six thirty upon eight seventy eight point seven five. Is that okay? any understanding problem that you did not understand what is the what is the ask of the question what are they asking so many a times 
understanding the problem itself becomes difficult so what are you know you are not able to uh, always remember volume flow rate later on anyways in 11th grade we are going to study this volume flow rate in any pipe volume flow rate meaning amount of fluid passing per second the volume of fluid passing per second is nothing but area into velocity of the fluid velocity of fluid so the cross section area in which the you know the flow is happening into velocity velocity is nothing but in meter per second or yeah area of cross section so area of cross section multiplied by velocity of the fluid will give you volume flow rate of the fluid so what is the difference between volume flow rate and this velocity velocity is nothing but how much how many meters covered per second by the fluid let's say in a pipe something is flowing so in one second how many meters linear distance covered by any particle of the fluid that is velocity of the fluid but how much volume is passing through at one particular cross section area is nothing but the amount of fluid passing through one particular cross section in one second and that is given by the cross section area into the velocity so that is how you will calculate how much volume is flowing in a river in a pipeline whatever next this is actual board paper so you could see in the sample paper this one five marker and one one marker so that means total is six marks question it might vary it be, it might become 2 plus 3 plus 1 maybe 1 plus 2 plus 3 like that so around six marks there would be one question next question here so around six marks there will be questions from areas surface areas volumes two cones have their heights in the ratio 1 is to 3 and radii in the ratio 3 is to 1 what is the ratio of their volumes it's a one mark question 1920 previous year board paper <clears throat> Everyone is getting three is to one. So in such questions, two cones have their heights in the ratio. So let's say H one, H one by H two. Is one by three, and radii R one by R two is equal to three by one, right? So what is the ratio of their volumes? Volume V one is one by three pi R one square into H one, and V two is one by three pi R two square into H two, right? Now divide V one by V two, V one by V two. Will be one by three pi r one square into h one divided by one by three pi r two square into h two. So one by three pi will go. So r one by r two is n square. So nine by one into one by three. So hence three by one. Okay. So v one by v two is three to one. So that means. If the heights are in the river, heights and radius are in the reverse ratio. Heights and radii are in the reverse ratio. Then the volume is in the ratio of the radii. Okay, next. This is two marks. The volume of a right circular cylinder with its height. Look, they have mentioned right circular cylinder with its height equal to the radius is this. So height is equal to radius. Find the height of the cylinder, and pi value is twenty-two by seven. Alicia and Aditya have got the results. <sighs> A 
everyone is saying 2 cm okay volume of a right circular cylinder with its height so if, even if it is 2 marks i will quickly draw a rough diagram on the sides of my answer script quickly okay so you don't need to draw for, with so draw free hand so using pencil you will be able to do better on a, on a tablet becomes a little difficult to draw beautiful diagrams anyways so uh, r is equal to h right height is equal to the radius so h so let us say this is r and this is r both are r so what is the volume volume of a cylinder always write the formula first don't jump onto the numbers on numerals so this is nothing but pi r square into h so in this case since r is equal to h so volume will be pi r cube okay and this is equal to how much 25 1 by 7 okay so pi is 22 by 7 into r cube is equal to 25 176 176 by 7 so 7 clearly this is going to be this is divisible by 22 176 is uh, how many times so 10 16 times is it no 8 times uh, 8 times so 22 is 8 times right so r cube is r is to centimeter do not forget to add the right two marks this is last year paper solid iron cuboidal block of dimension i have removed all the frustum based questions guys because that's not there in your syllabus for instance so solid iron cuboidal block of dimension 4.4 into 2.6 into 1 is cast into a hollow cylindrical pipe of internal radius 30 and thickness 5. Find the length of the pipe. Four marks. Time taking. So don't calculate. The dimensions are friendly. Don't calculate. Hmm. You got it, or this is the previous only. Find the length of the pipe. One hundred twelve meter. Okay. All of you are doing the calculations properly. Check. <clears throat> check your calculations. Or oh my God, centimeter. Are in. Can it be in centimeter? You did not pay attention to the dimensions given. Oh, different, different answers are coming. Now I understand where, where the thing is going to go. Yes, 112 meter is the right answer. It looks like most, yes, 112 what? Meter or centimeter, sorry. So 112 centimeter, not meter. So 1.12 meters, no? Yes, 
everybody is getting different different answer 112 meters you are getting is it oh yes 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 sorry my bad yes 112 meters correct 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 harshita meters yes so they go so what to do um, a solid iron cube first of all let's understand this uh, hollow cylinder thing what is hollow cylinder guys so what is the what is the thing in hollow cylinder so let's say this is hollow cylinder oh drawing in this becomes a little difficult but anyways and then let me change the color to make it more mm. yeah so if i yeah so this is what is a hollow cylinder okay so any pipe you see is actually a hollow cylinder because there cannot be zero thickness of any so sorry for my bad drawing because of this pen tab anyways so uh, what is given guys uh, this is what we found out this is not known let's say l this is not known but uh, what all are given so this outer radius is 30 plus thickness so thickness is 5 only you know thickness is 5 so this will be 35 and inner radius is 30 right inner radius is 30 and outer radius is 35 so what is the volume of the cylinder a circular cylinder volume will be nothing but pi into 35 square minus 30 square into L. This is the volume of the pipe. And this is, this must be equal to what, whatever is the, you know, the solid iron cuboidal block was there because the volume has to be same. So this will be 4.4 into 100 uh, into 2.6 into 100 all in centimeter because in the left hand side I have taken. So one into 100. Correct. This is what is the equation. Simple. And then done now don't calculate 35 square and 30 square use your identity knowledge so pi is 22 upon 7 35 square minus 30 square will be 35 minus 30 and 35 plus 30 into this l and this is how much so 440 into 260 into 100 i will deliberately keep it like that so that it becomes easier for me to do some calculations so 22 gone 20 times Okay, what else? This is 5. No, this is 5. So this is 4. And this is 65. This 35 plus 30 is 65. So 13, 5 times and 13, 20 times. Deco, making sense? Right? And then 5 and 4 again. So what is left? L. L is nothing but 7 into 4 into 4 into 100 centimeter. Divided by something one at the right? Where did it go? Um by 30. Uh, uh, so there will be something left also. So four into four. All gone, ah. Huh? Ah, okay. That's it. Ah, so how much? 16 into 7, 128. Mm, 100 centimeter. I'm sorry, 112. 112. So 7 is here, no? This 7 will come this side. Okay, got it. Or, or, or not. 16 7 is <coughs> ah, 112. 112 this centimeter. So this is 112 meter. Okay. So this is the answer. So annular or let's say uh, cylindrical pipe ka volume. So you, you can take down volume of a cylindrical pipe will be pi into R square minus R square into H where R is the outer radius, outer radius and small r is inner radius. Right, and the and the fundamental is the total volume minus the internal hollow volume. You minus it, subtract it, you will get the volume of the pipe. Next question, one mark. Spherical metal ball of radius eight centimeter is melted to make eight smaller identical balls. The radius of each new ball is so. How do you divide derive total surface area of hollow cylinder? So total surface area of hollow cylinder will be okay. Aditya's question. Here, so total surface area of this thing is first outer surface area. What is outer surface area? Oh, 
this is 2 pi capital R into H plus internal surface area. How much? 2 pi small r into H plus twice the twice into pi r square minus r square. This is the total surface area of a hollow cylinder. Uh, cylinder hollow cylinder. Yes. Is it okay? So this is outer surface. This is inner surface. And the top, upper wala surface and below surface, top surface, bottom surface. Top surface is pi times r square minus r square and multiplied by 2. So this is the total surface area of a this thing. Okay, this is done. Spherical ball, metal ball of radius 8 centimeter. Radius, radius is melted to make 8 identical balls. The radius of each new ball, let that be r. Let that be r. So 8 into 4 by 3 into pi into r cube is equal to 4 by 3 into pi into 8 cube. Correct. Am I right, folks? Bolo dosto. This is the equation. So this uncle will go and then r cube is equal to 8 cube by 2 cube. So R is equal to 4 centimeter. But here centimeter was already mentioned. So you could have avoided that. So 4 centimeter. Very good. Next. Simple ones. This one. Now this is a tent. Cylindrical cylinder surmounted by a conical top. Cylindrical part is 2.1 meter high and conical part has slant height of 2.8 meter. Both the parts have same radius to find the area of the canvas. Simple. So what is the, what, what are you going to calculate? You are going to calculate in this case, what are you going to calculate in this case? Total surface area of cone, isn't it? And total surface area of the cylinder, correct? This is the area of the canvas. Yes or no? Correct. People are not saying anything. Lateral surface area of cylinder. Oh, is it? Okay. Hmm, RN has already done it. CSA of cone plus CSA of cylinder. Yes, my dear friends. Oh, sorry. Aria, what is 40, 44 meter square? So CSA of cone plus, so all of you are saying, the canvas will be CSA of cone plus CSA of cylinder. CSA of cone is pi times R times L. And here, 2 pi R L. Radius is same, but L1 and L2 are different. So let's say this is L1, L2. Okay. Or pi R H, whichever way you want to write. So pi R L1. So pi is 22 by 7. And R is common. What is R, guys? 2 meter. So radius, not diameter, 2. Common. L1, slant height, 2.8 meters. All are in meters. Plus, um, pi R is gone. Here, what will be left? 2 into L2, height. Cylindrical part, height is 2.1. This one. And this will be in meter square. So this is uh, 44 upon 7 into 2 into 2.1 is 4.2. 4.2 into 2 point, uh, plus 2.8 is 7, right, meter square. So you got the answer 44 meter square. Okay. Right. So far, so good. All are easy. No headaches so far. Hmm.
two cubes each of volume 125 are joined end to end. Find the area of the resulting cube. Board. What area? It is surface area. So when they are asking surface area, find out the total surface area. Arjun, we have to find out the volume. Can't be in centimeter cube. Right? So these small errors will take away a lot of, so hence, diagram first. Rough diagram is something like this. So you can show, so we, so according to convention, whichever side or edge is not visible, you should draw with a dotted line. So these are the hidden this thing. So hence 125. So V is equal to 125 CM cube. That means A cube is equal to 125 CM cube. What is A show in the picture? A. So A is equal to five centimeters. Now this is nothing but two A and this height is A only. So the new surface area, right? So PSA now will be twice LB plus BH plus LH, which is twice LB. So two A into A plus BH A square plus 2a into a and a square and what else? LH. 2a into a. Yeah. So see, I'm not writing any values. I'm just in, in keeping the variables as they are. So 2a square plus a square plus 2a square, 5a square. So 5 into 2, 10a square. This is how I will write. So 10 into 5 square. This is equal to 250 centimeter square. Good. Fair enough. How many of you got it correct? Few of you got a wrong answer. Okay. So far, so good. All clear. All good. Any trouble? Shouldn't be any trouble. Chali. Next. Solid toy is in the form of a hemispheric hemisphere surmounted by a right circular cone of same radius. Determine the volume of the toy. Also find the area of the colored sheet required to cover the toy. So two questions are there. No problem, Aryan. Solve, solve questions. No issues. Go ahead. So in this diagram is not given and on top of it, there is, you know, these values are also given root of 149 and 22 by seven. So Akshita has calculated it already. Okay. Oh, different answer. Three different answers. Oh, 
my internet connection is also unstable it says bye bye guys can you hear me just confirm hello yeah okay so draw the diagram first solid toy is in the form of a hemisphere surmounted by a right circular cone of same radius so it's like a ice cream kind of a thing so and then on top of it there is a hemispherical something like that okay this is a toy the height of the cone is 10 cm okay and the radius of the base is 7 cm so radius is given thank you so r r is 7 cm determine the volume of the toy first of all and then find the area of the colored sheet required to cover the toy ha so cone is at the top hemisphere is in the form of a hemisphere surmounted by a right circular cone is this the correct diagram did you draw this diagram or is there any other possibility of any diagram same right you see it from top are how does it matter upside down will change the volume will the volume be changed if you look it from upside down or first of all confirm this is the diagram okay so you can yes for other questions right so hence the surmounted a uh, hemispheric surmounted by a right circular cone of same radius so hence volume wise same diagram wise you please draw the other way around no problem so let me calculate it so okay you, if you don't want it so let me so this is what you say oh no ulta sorry hello you are wish and let me okay so okay so this is what you are saying sir first draw this and draw this okay okay so now this is not h now it's okay this is what you wanted right abhi theek hai so in color hmm so this is h how much 10 cm right no height of the cone is 10 cm and the radius of the base is 7 so this is r r is equal to 7 cm very good determine the volume so volume will be volume will be simply 1 by 3 pi r square h plus 2 by 3 pi r cube this is the volume did you all get that right so hence you can take pi by 3 common and r square common pi by 3 common r square common this will be h plus 2 r right so hence pi how much is pi 22 by 7 into 3 R square forty nine, and hence root over one forty nine is given. I believe, so hence h is ten plus two r. How much? Ten plus two r. Oh, for this it was given. Oh, never mind. Ten plus two r is how much? Two r fourteen. So it is twenty two upon seven into three into forty nine into twenty four. cm cube let's do the calculation 7 7s are 49 38 ja correct so this guy is 2 into 11 into 56 correct so this is 1 1 2 112 into 11 112 into 11 which will be 2 2 plus 1 3 1 plus 1 2 and 1 1 2 3 2 One two three two centimeter 
क्यूब दिस इज वॉल्यूम ओके एंड नाउ कर्ड सर्फेस एरिया सो एल हाउ मच विल दिस एल बी सो कैलकुलेट एल फर्स्ट एल इज अंडर रूट एच स्क्वायर प्लस आर स्क्वायर सो अंडर रूट हिंस टेन स्क्वायर प्लस फोर्टी नाइन वन रूट ओवर वन फोर्टी नाइन इज गिवेन ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू सेंटीमीटर सो हिंस माई टी एस ए विल बी हाउ मच टी एस ए विल बी कर्व सर पाई आर एल राइट द फॉर्मूला फर्स्ट प्लस टू पाई आर स्क्वायर राइट दिस इज सो पाई अगेन कॉमन आर अगेन कॉमन एल प्लस आर सॉरी एल प्लस टू आर सो विच इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू बाई सेवन इन टू आर आर इज हाउ मच सेवन इन टू एल इज हाउ मच ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू इन टू और सॉरी प्लस फोर्टीन दिस इज द वैल्यू सो दिस सेवन दिस सेवन विल गो सो ट्वेंटी टू इन टू फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन पॉइंट टू सी ट्वेंटी सिक्स पॉइंट टू 22 into 26.2. Are you all getting it? So 56.4 into 11. So value is 56.4 into 11. So this is how much? Twenty-two point four. 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 Twenty-two Why am I getting six twenty point four? You are getting different, right? Oh, uh, something error. Some error did I do? Twenty twelve fourteen twenty six point two L R. Yep, twelve point two. Everyone is getting five seventy six. Where did I do some mistake? Identify the mistake. T is a pi R L common L plus two pi R square is okay. So Pi twenty two by seven into r, r is seven into l twelve point two into two r, two r is fourteen, fourteen plus twelve twenty six point two, so twenty two into twenty six point two fifty six. Oh, sorry, no, this is also okay. Two into two four, two six is twelve. Oh, why fifty six fifty two point four? No, this is a mistake. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. So this is fifty two point four. So continuation will be fifty two point four into eleven. Now okay. So forty four fifty seven centimeter square done. Okay, thank you. Next, these are all mechanical formula based. Keep applying formula rightly and then done. Ah, uh, this is interesting. Water in a canal six meter wide, one point five meter deep is flowing with speed of ten kilometers per hour. How much area will it irrigate in thirty minutes if eight centimeter standing water is needed? One second, could you go back? I went back. Yes, बोलो आदित्य. So I told you what is volume flow rate. Volume flow rate is cross section area into velocity. So that will be helpful to you. Always remember, volume flow rate. Is that done, Aditya? Can we proceed? Yeah. So do it. Volume flow rate. Water in a canal six meter wide, one one point five meter deep, is flowing with a speed of ten kilometers per hour. Mind the units here. Ten kilometers per hour. Here it is six meter, one point five meter. How much area will it irrigate in thirty minutes? If eight centimeter again unit different. So meter, centimeter, kilometer, everything is there in the same question. If eight centimeter standing water is needed. Oh, very big number. Shit, 
share the values. Is it so big number five, six, two, five, double, double. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let others also solve. By the way, today is the birthday of Swami Vivekananda. I don't know if you know this. Swami Vivekananda was born today. You know Swami Vivekananda? Yes. Have you heard of him? Everybody. Oh, good. Twelfth January eighteen sixty three. Fifty six point two five hectares for four thousand five hundred. Hectares meter square fifty six point different different answers are coming. Let me solve now. Okay, so so what is the canal like? This is the canal. So here is the canal. Let's say this is the cross section. Okay, and this is the cross section, and water is flowing like this. Okay, so what is given? Width is given. No six meter wide. And this is one point five meter deep. Okay, and water is flowing in this direction. Let's say at a velocity v, a speed v. So what is the volume flow rate? Volume flow rate. How much water per second or per minute or whatever? Volume flow rate is cross section area. So this is the cross section area, guys. This is where water is flowing through this cross section. So how much is that? Six meters. Into 1.5 meters into 10 kilometers per hour. So 10 kilometers per hour is nothing but 10 into 5 upon 18 meter per second. Okay, so you can write in separately also. Let's say v is equal to 10 kilometers per hour. So this is equal to 10 into 5 by 18 meter per second also. You know the conversion, right? Kilometer per hour to meter per second. Just multiply by 5 by 18. You must have studied in physics. So now six uh, into one point five is nine. So this is two. This is five. So volume flow rate is twenty five. Twenty five meter cube per second. So in one second, twenty five. Uh, what is what what is IR? That is TDS. What is TDS? Akshita, unmute and say. So this is this is in one second. This much volume of water is coming. Okay, now the so the meter per second code is rather tedious, so we can just do it for thirty minutes, right? By converting that into meters. So, but anyway, somewhere you have to con convert into kilometer into meters, whichever way. So yeah, I yeah, but once we do this, we have to convert the seconds into minutes again. So that's why this. Yes, so hence now this is twenty-five meter cube. So the see I, how am I doing? Am I doing? Uh, I'm doing this way. So in one second, twenty-five meters. So thirty minutes. How much volume? In thirty minutes, in thirty minutes, volume will be equal to twenty-five into thirty into sixty meter cube. Okay. Now, uh, let's say now this is the plot, and eight meter water standing is there, right? So this is height is eight meter, isn't it? This height is eight meter. So you have to find out the area, right? How much area will it be? So simply, you now know a into eight centimeter. That means eight by hundred meters is equal to this twenty-five into thirty into sixty, right? So hence, what is a? A will be so. Twenty-five into thirty into sixty into hundred by eight. Okay, so now you calculate. So hence, what should I do? Four. Uh, let hundred be there. Four two ja four fifteen ja. So this is two here. So two fifteen ja. So fifteen into fifteen into twenty-five hundred. So two twenty-five. So answer I'm writing here. Two twenty-five into twenty-five into hundred. 
isn't it? So it will be easier to calculate how. So this is 900 by 4 into 2500. Right. So hence, this is this is my way of calculating. Nothing you can do your way. So two twenty-five into nine is two twenty-five, and how many zeros into ten to the power four divided by four. So this is nothing but four four the four five the twenty, and again four five the sorry, what am I saying? Four six the then twenty-four point ten. So two five into ten to the power four meters 56.25 hectares yep okay so 56.25 hectares most of you have got it yes is it okay so so what akshita was saying is you felt first calculate the yeah, akshita correct me if i'm wrong you said in uh, one hour how much water so in one hour 10 kilometer ka usne kya kar diya 10000 10,000 meters. So in one hour, one hour, this is also correct, actually easy also. So in one hour, how much water? 6 into 1.5 into 10,000. Okay. So in 30 minutes, half of it. So in 30 minutes, it will be, oh, writing in a very small space. Sorry for that. So it will be half of it. So 345. Um, am I right? This is what you did, right? So divide 30 minutes means ka aadha. So that means 3 into 1.5, 4.5 into 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this much water. And then this equal to A into 8 centimeter. That means 8 by 100. Did you do the same thing, Akshita? This is what you did, right? So you find A from here. Yeah, whichever way. But you said 5,000 something. Anyways, so check the calculations. No problem. Let's go to the next one. A solid is in the form of cylinder with hemispherical ends. The total height of the solid is 20 and dia of dia. Dia of the cylinder is 7. Find the total volume of the solid. You can share those questions, uh, Aditya, whichever questions you are having problem. So converting right, I will take, I'll tell you what that is also very easy. So what you can do is when you convert a right triangle into a cone, do this exercise at home also practical. So what will happen in that case, slant height is this side. Let's say A, B, C. So in that case, L is equal to A. Okay, and uh, the circumference, so 2 pi r of the base is c. That's it. This is what happens when you, you know, create a cone using a right triangle, right angle triangle. Is that okay? But a must be equal to b for that matter. a is equal to b. So what will happen? You This side goes and get adjoined to this side. So when you form the cone, it will be something like that. So the circumference is nothing but the hypotenuse. Yes, in such questions, you have to assume R of cylinder is R of hemisphere. Because otherwise there could be infinitely many solutions. No, actually, uh, uh, infinitely many solutions because H is not fixed of surrender. Yes. So quickly draw the diagram. It's two mark only. So hence. This is the thing. What are they saying? Okay. So 
So what will be the height of cylinder below? Hmm, thirteen. Hmm. Ah. Huh. Diameter of the cylinder is seven. Yes. Thirteen. Radius is to known. It's very easy problem. Find the total volume. So total volume is nothing but volume of cylinder, volume of sphere. Correct. Ha hemisphere plus hemisphere is one sphere. Is it? Or you can write V of cylinder plus two times V of hemisphere. Right. Answer is done. So volume of cylinder is pi r square h, and this will be four by three pi r cube. So pi r square is common. H plus four by three r. So pi को twenty two by seven लेना है. So twenty two by seven and r is how much guys? R is three point five centimeters. So I'll write seven by two. So seven square by two square into h. H is thirteen plus four by three into seven by two. Right. So is it coming out to be in decimals? Okay, so this seven and this seven will go. So three two just six. Thirteen times six is seventy eight. Seventy eight plus twenty eight is one not six. All right. So the calculation is here. So this is equal to twenty two into seven by four into one not six by six. Have I done the calculations correctly, guys? Let's check once again. Six thirteen six are seventy eight plus twenty eight one not six. Okay, one not six by six. This is what I am getting. So someone has joined. Just a minute. So what will this be? So this will go by two eleven and two fifty three. So hence here. Um, seven threes are twenty one, thirty seven by six into eleven. Right, seven threes are two seven three five. Yes. So now multiplying by eleven is easy. So one eight one four. Am I right? Thirty and divided by six. So eleven three seventy eight seven yeah and then he did answer is here. What is it six six is a thirty six forty eight six eight is a forty eight and then zero point one and then four six six eighty point one six centimeter cube. Okay. Good. So all of you got it. Like my answer. Tell you your answer. My answer matches. Let's go to this. Now density question. Solid iron pole consists of. This is eighteen nineteen. Now we have moved to previous year. Last to last year. And we have never. We have not seen any. Question, which is having any other uh, unit system? Solid iron pole consists of a cylinder of height two twenty and base dia twenty four diameter again, which is surmounted by another cylinder of height sixty and radius eight. Find the mass of the pole given that. So first, find out the total volume of the pole. Multiplied by the density. 
you'll get the mass. So I'll draw a diagram for you. Then guys, what happened? Taking time. I'm solving parallelly just to see whether answers match or not. Anyone done? R1 square, so 12 square into 220 plus Harshita got something 220 plus R2 square 8 square into 60 into 8 this is the answer so 3.14 into 12 square, my God, 144 4 into 220, calculation intensive. And this is 64 into 60 into 8 grams, this much. So, karo calculation. So, 144, 3.14, 144 into 220, I can do this calculation. So, 0, 22, 4, 88. 22 for the 88 plus 8 96 carry 9 22 3 1 6 8 0 is the 24 the 88 8 88 plus 8 is 96 9 yeah this one and this one is um 0 24 38 into 8 my god good good exercise so what is it um 3.14 into so add it 0 and 8 4 12 1 6 7 7 8 15 0 12 7 7 8 15 1, 2 2 3 5 and 3 into 8 fantastic these many grams Okay, G. So this is, I will write 22 by 7 only. 22 by 7 here I'm writing. Then it is 0, 16, 41, 45, 28. Correct? 24, 45, 40, 51, whatever. Am I right, guys? 8, 0, 8, 16, 1, 8, 40, 41, 4. 40, wait a minute, 0, 15, 1, 8, 5, 0, 4, 
वेट फॉर फोर्टी फोर्टी फोर होगा ना ये यस या टू एट फोर वन सिक्स जीरो Oh my God! Only two people have got the answer so far. So, did you get guys this much? I don't know whether you are doing this way. So, two calculation intensive. Hence, it is four marks. Or different different answers are coming. Never mind. So, this is twenty two into seven four twenty eight zero five sixty six. So nine four. Point two, right? Very good. And now this has to be multiplied by twenty-two. Oops, so much of calculation. So two into eleven into I'm writing here four zero five nine four point two grams. So it, it is easier to multiply, or you can do directly. But I will do from eleven. It is easier to do eleven ka multiplication. So it is. Uh, Eleven two ja twenty two four ja forty four ninety nine. Here it ten six forty four into two. Oops. Different people are getting yes. Satyam, I am closer to your answer. This is point two. Okay, so this is four. Twelve, seven. You are getting six. I am getting seven. Why? Anyways, two two is a four. Two three is a six. Two six is a twelve. One two is a six and seven. Two five is a ten. One thirteen. One nine. Eight nine three zero seven two point four. I am getting this many grams. So eight ninety three kilos. So only me and Satya are closer. Anyone else? Ah, Vaishna. Vaishna is also close. Eight nine. But Vaishna is also getting eight nine two two six two point four. I just messed up somewhere. Maybe some calculation. So this was tedious. Ah, uh, maybe because I multiplied by. Oh, okay. I did twenty-two by seven, maybe. But right, just just check if. So, if in such cases, you have to spend time to repeat, anyways. Well, even if you have got it, you know. So now R N is getting some other other answer. Oops. Different different answer. Let me check using a calculator. How much is it? So twelve square. Let me see twelve square into two two zero plus eight square into sixty. Answer is this into three point one four into eight eight nine two two six two four. Yes. So those who have got eight nine two two six two point four is correct. So eight nine two two six two four. So. Huh. I if you take thirty three point one four. If I do by twenty two point seven, then what will happen? Let's see. Twenty yeah, two by seven. Is there any difference? Twelve square into two twenty should not be that much difference, by the way. But let me check. Eight square into sixty. Answer into twenty two into eight divided by seven. Ha. Huh. Yes. If I take twenty two by seven, I'm getting eight nine three zero seven four. So what I'm getting is correct with twenty-two by seven. So hence they are asking. So better not to deviate from three point one four. I deviated from three point one four because it was easier to calculate using twenty-two by seven because twenty-two is two times eleven and multiplication by eleven is much easier. So hence, but anyways, so all are roughly same. But Arin got way off. What about others? What about others? You did not do calculations, guys. You you left it midway. uh way way off yes that's something uh, so calculations have to be very very carefully done mm, i got half the value yes that's that's the thing so hence you have to see now you learned what is the issue in this it will take some time so in such cases they will trap you unnecessary calculations also so they should have ideally given you some multiples of 7 but there was no multiple of 7 nothing so it was real 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 
calculation intensive so you will lose okay understood so ek bar in such cases do visit this calculation once again in the spare time what i told you to do okay this one this should be easy decorative block is shown which is made of two solids a cube and a hemisphere the base of the block is cube with edge 6 and the hemisphere fixed on the top has a dia of 4.2 find the total surface area of the block acha will the position of this hemisphere affect the volume or the surface area if i shift that hemispherical thing yeah chalo solve now again it's a calculation so here you take pi is equal to 22 by 7 so meanwhile you are doing i will also start so that we can save some time the base of the block of cube is with edge 6 and the hemisphere fixed on top has a dia of 4.2 so it's diameter so you have to be taking care of that find the total surface area of the block oh people have already done so total surface area tsa so tsa will be first of all 6 into a square plus uh um plus 2 pi r square minus pi r square am i right so 1 pi r square have to has to be taken away because there will um, uh, the 6a square will have a extra pi r square in the the interface which is there here this has to be removed and then 2 pi r square has to be added isn't it so this is nothing but 6 cube only so this will be 216 and then pi r square so pi r is 22 by 7 into r r is 2.1 so 2.1 into 2.1 this will be the tsa okay so this is point 3 so this is nothing but um, 216 plus point 3 into so this is 22 into 360 0.63 okay so 216 plus 22 3 is 66 carry 6 22 Times six. The TSA of a hemisphere is three pi r square. No, no, no. Hello, guys. You have to find out total surface area of the block. It's not asking about. Yes, no. sir. But so you have to write three pi r square minus pi r square. Right. No, are any, my boy. Look. Uh, this this curved surface area of the sphere is how much? Two pi r square. Correct. Only. Understood. Did you oh, got it, sir. Got it. Yeah. So only the curved surface area has to be added. The total cube and on top of it the the dome has to be added. That's it. And then you have to take away pi r square. So don't don't go by formula. So if you go by TSA, then you have to reduce remove two into pi r square. Understood. If you go for the go by the formula of hemisphere TSA, then you have to remove twice that circular common common area. This area. Understood. So hence, uh, so I have not gone by the formula. I have just gone by the construction. So two one six plus, uh, what uh, what was that? So this is twenty two into three sixty six carry six twenty two six one thirty two one thirty eight. And uh, 
point. So this is two two nine point eight six. Oh, someone is getting two six. Two twenty nine point eight six centimeter square. This is the. Did you get this value? Two twenty nine point eight six. Hmm. And then, then what? Next is total volume. So total volume will be now here. You don't need to add, subtract anything. You just need to so do uh, you know uh, total volume will v one is equal to six cube and v two is two by three into pi that is twenty two by seven into r cube. So two point one cube. We have to add these two. Yep. So this is the total volume, isn't isn't it? So this is two one six. So someone is getting totally off result also. Never mind. So two one six plus um, twenty one square four forty one. So twenty two into zero point three into four point four one. So let me write once again. This is twenty two into zero point three. Two point one by seven is zero point three into twenty one square is four point four one. This is the value. So this is two one six. Plus, see, I'm not using any additional assistance for calculation. I'm just doing manipulation. So, 22 is 11 into 2. 2 into 0.3 is 0.6. Now, I'll multiply this by 0.6. So, 6, 6 folds are 24. 2, 2, 6, and three digits. So, it will be 2.646. So, 216 plus. Then here, 11, 6. Okay, so twenty nine point one not six. Add this and done. So this is nothing but point one zero six. And nine plus six is fifteen. One three one four. I'm getting something else. You're getting something else. I'm getting two forty five point. Anyone got this one? No. Anyone is got, everyone is getting two thirty five. Is it? Volume? Did I make mistake then? Mm, hold on, re recalculate. Two one six point three into two point one. Hey, this is so tedious. Into two point six four six. That's fine. Uh, into three. Yes, into eleven. Twenty nine point one zero six. Which two? Where? Where? Where do I need to multiply two? Oh, here no. Oh, two by three. So I need multiply here. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yes. I did not do this two by three thing. I just added it. Yeah. So point six six. Ah, oh, thanks, thanks. In two point six six. So nineteen two hundred sixteen. Ah, two thirty five point two. Yeah, thanks, Arun. So I did not multiply this two by three. Thank you for pointing out. So it will be. Into two by three, into two by three. Again, tedious calculation. So be careful. That way, I am, you know, old guy. You have to do carefully all the calculations. So nineteen, nineteen point two. It will be nineteen point two. So add this. Your answer is two thirty five point two. Around this. So four not four or similar. This will be okay. No problem. So be careful. These are all. After some time, what is what will happen is. So hence, uh, don't solve questions with intensive calculation back to back. The mind becomes saturated. So hence, you can if let's say you know try this either at a very fresh mind or somewhere in the middle. End me to be extra cautious, and hence you have to spare some time to come back and revise. There will be errors. So always remember. So let's see how many are of different types varieties now. So these are the different varieties which we have gathered. Anyways, chalo. Uh, let me see if we have different types. A cone of height twenty four and radius six is made up of modeling clay. A child reshapes it in the form of a sphere. Ha, huh? you can do this. Find the radius of the sphere and hence find the surface area of this sphere. Do quickly. This is small. 
टू मार्क्स रीशेपिंग मतलब वॉल्यूम स्टेज कॉन्स्टेंट कोन ऑफ हाइट ट्वेंटी फोर सेंटीमीटर रेडियस ऑफ बेस सिक्स सेंटीमीटर इज मेड अप ऑफ मॉडलिंग क्ले अ चाइल्ड रीशेप वॉट इज द वॉल्यूम वन बाई थ्री इंटू पाई इंटू आर स्क्वायर इंटू ट्वेंटी फोर एंड दिस इज रीकास्ट इंटू ए स्फियर सो स्फियर विल बी So this is VC four by three pi r cube. You have to find out the what? Find the radius and the total surface area. So VC is equal to VS. So one by three into pi into six square into twenty four is equal to four by three into pi into r cube. So pi and pi and three and three and four and six will go. So R is equal to six centimeter. Okay, the and surface area of this sphere. So surface area four pi R square four into twenty two by seven into thirty six. Correct. So okay. So how to do it? Um, four into two is eight. Eight into six. So eleven into eight six is forty eight to eighty eight divided by seven. So this is nothing but somewhere around four one point uh, one. So one and four. So eleven times this. So forty four. Eleven. Point five four, four fifty two point. So anyways, okay. So this is centimeter five six five seven five four. Different people are getting different different values. Or did you round it off? Hmm. Chal, no worries. Aage chale. So this was easy. Hmm. Ah, yeah, you do do this one. Similar question. Volume flow rate. Farmer connects a pipe of internal diameter twenty centimeter from a canal into a cylindrical tank in his field, which is ten meter in dia and two meter deep. So, oh. if water flows through the pipe at the rate of three kilometers per hour, in how much time will the tank be filled? Yeah, somewhere there, Aditya. Okay, do this one. Board 2019 again. So you are you are seeing either there is a toy, either there is a melting of stuff, or there is a water flow rate and things like that. These are the typical questions. Once the cone and frustum thing has been removed, three varieties. So there will be a toy, or there will be a remelting, recasting of something, or cross section area so you have to draw the diagram also let's say so this is the 
dia 20 centimeter so this is 20 okay cylindrical tank in its field um, so this is a cylindrical tank This is two meter deep and which is 10 meter in dia. So this is five meters. This is five and this is 20 centimeter in dia. So this is 10 centimeter, right? So hence, okay. So everybody is getting some value six seconds. So let me see. So in, uh, what is it saying? Rate of three kilometers per hour, right? So in one hour, how much volume will come out? In one hour, in one hour, how much volume will come out? 3000 meters into cross section area that is pi into uh, 10 centimeters. So 0 0.1 square. This is in one hour, this much meter cube water will flow. How? This is the speed. This is the surface area, pi into 0.1, right? Now uh, to fill this volume. So what is the target volume? Target volume to tank tank volume is how much? This much pi into five meter, right? So five square into two. This is the target volume. Now this must be equal to uh, d divided by this 3000 into pi into 0 0.1 square hours is the time. Did you all get this part? Time is total volume to be filled. How much? 4 pi square into 2 divided by in one hour, how much it is filling? So how much it is filling? 3000 meters into pi into 0.1 square. Am I right, folks? So pi and pi will go. So what is this? These many hours, Matlab, uh, 25, um, 25 into 2. So 25 into 2 is 50. So 506, right? So one upon this will go how many times? 60 times. So one by 60 into 0 0.01 hour. Okay. So in one hour, how many minutes? How many minutes? 60 minutes. So 60 by 60 into 0 0.01 minutes. So that means one by 0 0.01 minutes which is 100 minutes. Yes, so those who are getting 100 minutes, correct answer. Six seconds, oh my God. People are also getting six seconds, why? So, so quick, in six seconds, the entire volume is filled. No problem, no problem. No need to say sorry, come on, it happens. So be careful with the calculations. Now this is similar, instead of, what will you do in this case? A juice seller was uh, serving his customers using glasses as shown. The inner dia of the cylinder, cylindrical glass was 5 cm. But bottom of the glass had a hemispherical raised portion which reduced the capacity of the glass. If the height of the glass was 10 cm, find the apparent and actual capacity of the glass. What is apparent capacity of the glass? The volume of the cylinder, right? And what is the actual volume of the cylinder minus volume of the hemisphere? Am I right, folks? Is it understood? So in this case, would you go back once here? Okay. Can we proceed? Okay, guys. So here, let's let's discuss the questions out. You can you know, solve that back at home as well because there are a few more questions left. So what we'll do is in this case, what is this? So apparent capacity. Apparent. What it would appear, right? Apparent capacity is cylinder volume. And actual capacity. is equal to cylinder volume 
माइनस हेमिस्फीयर वॉल्यूम ओके सो यू हैव टू डू दिस इन दिस क्वेश्चन लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन यू कैन सॉल्व एट होम आल्सो नो प्रॉब्लम सो दिस वन हाउ विल यू सॉल्व दिस वन अ गर्ल एम्पटीज अ सिलिंड्रिकल बकेट फुल ऑफ सैंड ऑफ बेस रेडियस 18 सेंटीमीटर एंड हाइट 32 सेंटीमीटर ऑन द फ्लोर टू फॉर्म अ कोनिकल हीप ऑफ सैंड सो दिस इज व्हाट शी इज गेटिंग कोनिकल हीप ऑफ सैंड ओके इफ द हाइट ऑफ दिस कोनिकल हीप इज 24 then find the slant height correct to one place of decimal so you have to be very very careful here this is what is they are asking okay if the height of the conical heap is then find its slant height correct to one place of decimal and uh, yes so what is the volume here volume is given bucket full of sand of base radius uh, yeah so what is the volume of the sand volume of sand is equal to volume of cylinder is it and what was what would that be so bucket full of sand a base radius 18 so pi into 18 square into 32 cm cube this is the volume of the sand okay from here you need to find out r first so now this is equal to volume of cone isn't it so 1 by 3 pi r cube sorry r square h r square into what is the height of the cone 24 is equal to volume of this thing so pi into 18 square into 32 right so pi goes and uh, something more will go so 3 and 8 will go here 8 times 4 it is so r is nothing but 8 in 18 into 2 36 cm right so l is nothing but under root r square plus 24 square which is under root 24 square plus 36 square this is the thing so hence you can take something common is it so here 8 2 ja and yeah so this is nothing but 8 is or uh, 12 is common actually so 12 comes out here what is left 4 plus 9 so it is 12 times root of 13 so what is root 13 value 3. Point, how much is root 13? So to find out root 13. So chalo, let's find root 13. So root 13. So you know how to calculate 13.00. Only one decimal. So this is 339. What is left? 400. So how do we do it? 6. Then how much? 66 times. Right, six six is a thirty six carry three thirty ah three ninety six, so four is remaining. So three point six, so twelve into three point six. Okay, so I'm writing the value is twelve into three point six, which is seven forty three. Okay, forty three point two centimeter. ओके फिलास इन सच केसेस नो एक बार और कर लेना चाहिए एक्चुअली बिकॉज जस्ट गेट टू डेसिमल इन योर स्क्वायर रूटिंग एंड देन यू राउंड इट ऑफ इन द फाइनल आंसर बट एनीवेज दिस शुड बी ओके सो फेयर इनफ सो व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज दीज आर सम मोर क्वेश्चंस प्लीज ट्राई देम सिमिलर क्वेश्चंस दीज आर दीज आर ऑल कोलेटेड फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस स्टिल 17 18 पेपर सो ऑल कोलेटेड इट इज ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड आई नो आई होप यू आर अवेयर वेयर दीज आर गेटिंग अपलोडेड गाइस यू नो यू नो वेयर इट इज अपलोडेड and this is the the question which was you know which we saw see yeah so this one is 229.86 so we saw this one this particular question where is it uploaded so here 
I will show you. So this is this is the question. The way they have written, see, all these statements very very elaborate. You know, um, has been explained properly. What are they trying to say? Let R be the radius of the cylinder. Pipe B R meters. A diagram is there. You can see there is a diagram. Good. You know, uh, uh, illustrative diagram can always help. So you can use that. Then. Uh, Radius R. So see in the brackets they have mentioned R. So conversions done. Height of the tank filled is 3.15 meter. Time taken is this. Rate of flow of water. All that one by one, one by one, one by one like that. To find internal. So this is all given. See they are first mentioned given, and then solution here. So this for a four marker or five marker question it deserves these these many steps. So please uh, please uh, make sure. So volume of water in tank in half hour is this much. So but volume of water passed through pipe is equal to volume of water collected in tank and all that equations written, and hence how to solve. Getting it? How to solve? So this is how you have to demonstrate. Acha, where it is located? It is located here. So if you go to here, so go to this program, and for all the videos, you can see the videos are here. Session recordings. So all the recordings so far, till yesterday's magnetic effect. What was the last yesterday magnetic effect current? So this is uploaded till here, and then here mock papers are there, and all the PPTs are here. Attachments. When you see, these are all PPTs. There go these attachments. So you can download from here. All that all the PPTs are uploaded in the uh, week weekly schedule. So week one, week two, week three, all the attachments will be there. so these attachments will be very handy while you are revising in the final board exams you know when you are you know so hence uh, keep them with you and use it okay so you will have to just run through don't do so many problems only few problems only towards the board exams will be good enough so hence we have collated last 3 4 years paper questions will be good enough for quick revision okay so you can utilize these fair enough any doubt any question so i am assuming that once this is uploaded you will solve the rest of the remaining questions which are there and then let me know if you are facing any trouble anywhere okay so the first slide in this was useful as i told you just uh, keep that in mind and that is good enough so this is the crux of the entire game here any other question guys any other uh, difficulty you are facing let me know or uh, you you guys can reach out to all of us individually also okay so you know keep working hard stay calm still long way to go okay bye bye guys take care see you again bye 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 take care Thank you.